హలో ఎవ్రీ వన్ హౌ ఆర్ యూ ఆల్ ఐ హోప్ యూ ఆల్ గుడ్ వెల్కమ్ టు ద డైలీ కరెంట్ అఫేర్స్ సెప్టెంబర్ ఫోర్త్ వీ అబ్జర్వ్ ఇంటర్నేషనల్ వల్చర్ అవేర్నెస్ డే ఫర్ ద ఇయర్ ట్వంటీ ట్వంటీ వన్ వీ అబ్జర్వ్ సెప్టెంబర్ ఫోర్త్ యాజ్ ఎ ఇంటర్నేషనల్ వల్చర్ అవేర్నెస్ డే బికాస్ ఎవ్రీ ఇయర్ ఆన్ ఫస్ట్ సాటర్డే ఆఫ్ ద సెప్టెంబర్ మంత్ ఈజ్ అబ్జర్వ్ యాజ్ ఎ ఇంటర్నేషనల్ వల్చర్ అవేర్నెస్ డే and this day is observed to show the human kind's appreciation for vultures and the ecosystem services which they provide and this event and this initiative is run jointly by the birds of prey program of endangered wildlife trust in south africa and the hawk conservancy trust in england these two organizations run run this day uh, as september 4th as international vulture awareness day next one and we observe from uh, and in the year 2021 from september 6 to september 12 we observe as food processing week uh, as of now in the pre in the last month on august 15th in we observed uh, 75th 75 years of india's independence as as we observe 75th independence day we also celebrating the azadi ka amrit mahotsav as Uh, for for about 75 weeks and uh, this food processing week is an uh, celebration under this under 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 the azadi ka amrit mahotsav and and, uh, and th- under this celebration we observe from se- september 6 to september 12th as food processing week and this is organized by the ministry of food processing industries and the ministry of food processing industries is under pashupati kumar paras and the constituency of pashupati kumar is hajipur bihar next one september 7th we observe as international day of clean air for blue skies every year on september 7th we observe the uh, international day of clean air for blue eyes and the, and this day is observed to promote and facilitate action, actions to improve the air quality and this day is recognized by the united nations uh, united nation and the, and its main aim is to raise public awareness at all the levels uh, that how how the clean air is important for health productivity and the environment and the main focus for this year is on prioritize prioritizing the need for healthy to tackle the critical issues such as climate change human and the planetary health and the sdgs that is sustainable development goals and to tackle the to cl- tackle the climate change we ob- uh-huh. we observe september 7th as international day of clean air for blue skies and the theme of this day is healthy air healthy planet and uh, and the first and the first edition of this day is celebrated in the year 2020 next one government appoints suman sharma as new managing director of sceci here the full form of sceci is solar energy cooperation of india here the uh, sharma is is currently serving as a additional director general of foreign trade in the department of commerce and he will re- and the former and the former uh, managing director of sccii is jitendranath swain and he repl- and jitendra swain uh, jitendranath is replaced by suman sharma next one sl tripathi appointed as cmd of united india Assur- insurance yeah, the S- the government has appointed uh, pati as the chairman and the managing director of united india issue, uh, insurance and he is currently the general manager and the director of the new india assurance company limited that is nisel he, nisel uh, currently managing director is sl tripathi now he is the cmd of united india insurance and the ceo of united india insurance is girish radhakrishnan the headquarters is at chennai and it is founded in the year 1938 next one india's first bio brick based building inaugurated at iit hyderabad this is this is the 
India's first biobrick building, which is uh, inaugurated at Hyderabad, IIT Hyderabad, and these biobricks are made from the agricultural wastes. And the sample of this and sample and the sample building, which is made from the biobricks, is supported by a metal frame. And the uh, the chief the chief minister of Kerala, uh, Tamil sorry, the chief minister of Telangana is K Chandrasekhar Rao, and the governor is Tamil Nadu is Saundara Rajan. Next one. Fourth edition of bilateral navy exercise between the Indian Navy and the Royal Austral Australian Navy called Aus Index is held. The, here the Aus Index means the uh, it is a bilateral navy exercise between the Indian Navy and the Royal uh, Australian Navy, and it 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 has begun from sept uh, September sixth to September seventh, and uh, from from the government of India, the from uh, Indian uh, Indian Navy ship Shivalik and the Indian Navy ship Kadmad that is INS Shivalik and the INS Kadmad is going to participate in this bilateral navy exercise. And this the edition of this uh, the edition of this OS index, which includes the complex surface, subsurface, and the air operations between both the navies. And the Prime Minister of Australia is Scott Morrison, and the capital of Australia is Canberra. And the currency is dollar. Next one. Twenty eighth edition of Singapore India Maritime Bilateral Exercise that is called Simbex twenty twenty one is held, and the. In the previous in the previous news, we have to remember at what is the edition of this OS index that is fourth edition and what are the ships are going to participate in this index and who is the prime minister and the currency and the capital. The next one. In this, we have to remember what is the edition. It is the twenty eighth edition of Simbex uh, exercise that is the Singapore India Maritime Bilateral exercise. And in this exercise, the INS Ranvijay, INS Kilthan, and the INS Kora are, go are going to participate in this exercise. It is a uh, annual bilateral maritime exercise which is held in the South China Sea. Uh, and uh, by this exercise, it is aimed to strengthen the bilateral defense ties between between both the countries. And it is, and it is also a special occasion, and as it is takes place during the ongoing celebrations of the seventy fifth India's independence as Azadi ka Amrit Mahotsav. Next one. India and U.S. inks project agreement for air launched unmanned aerial vehicle that is ALU AV. Yeah, the both the government of uh, India that is from the government of India the Ministry of Defence and the from US the Department of Defence Defence has signed a project agreement for air launched unmanned aerial vehicle. It is a joint agreement which is signed under the Working Group Air Systems of Defence Technology and Trade Initiative. Under this collaboration, the two countries will work towards the development uh, development of this ALU uh, ALU and the design. Demonstration testing, uh, testing of this ALU prototype, and the Ministry of Defence uh, is under Rajnath Singh, and the constituency of Rajnath Singh is Lucknow, Uttar Pradesh. Next one, Tamanna Bhatia unveils her book titled Back to the Roots. Here, the Back to the Roots is a book which is, uh, which who is the co-author was Tam Tamanna Bhatia, and, and she launched the book, and the book is based. On intensive research and the India's ancient secrets of health benefits and the wellness. Next one. Equitas Bank appoints Rani Rampal and Smriti Mandana as brand ambassadors. On September fifth, uh, on September fifth, twenty twenty one, Equitas Small Finance Bank has celebrated its fifth anniversary, and uh, on the occasion of its fifth anniversary. Equitas Bank has announced Rani Rampal and Smriti Mandana as their brand ambassadors, and the MD and CEO of Equitas Small Finance Bank is Vasudevan P N, and the headquarters is at Chennai. Here, the Rani Rampal is is the player in the national hockey team who holds the record for being the youngest play youngest player to play, and the Smriti Mandana is the Indian cricket player. Who plays for the Indian women's national team, and she was recognized as the best women's international cricket by the Board of Control for 
cricket in India that is BCCI next one President uh, President Ramnath Kovin awarded National Teachers Award 2021 to the 44 finest finest teachers in the country uh, on the occasion of the teachers day that is on September 5th President Ramnath Kovin has awarded 44 uh, National Teachers Award 2021 to the finest teachers in the country and this award is given is and this award is contributed to to those who improve the quality of educations for the students and those who ins, inspire in their lives next one and uh, in these awards the out of the total 44 awards there are nine nine awards which is uh, given for the women next one former france uh, footballer that is uh, who is jean pierre adams passes away <clears throat> Here, the Jean Pierre uh, Adams is a former France footballer. Recently, he was passed away, and he uh, and he was in coma from thirty nine years, and he played for the France national football team in the year nineteen seventy two to nineteen seventy six. Yeah, and due due to the error in the uh, due to the error in the uh, medical surgery while having his knee surgery he went to coma and uh, and he he has been in coma for 39 he years and he recently he passed away next one thank you everyone stay safe stay strong